have revived this disgrace in this video, I'm going to talk about the silent treatment. And I have been thinking of making this video for years now. I may have mentioned it once, <laughs> one video over what on my original channel is eight years this month. And this one is a little less than that. So it's been years. Anyway, and the the thing I want to talk about is that when what I've heard over the years and before, even before I was ever on YouTube, of course I heard about the silent treatment and it's always been something that is thought of as really negative. It's like it's a punishment or power and control, um, passive aggressiveness, so many different things I've heard about it. And then you hear more recent years, at least I did, more recent years, about people going no contact. Now, people went no contact in various ways before that, but they just didn't have a term for it as such. Really, they didn't use that term for it. You know, some people did it legally, you know, put restraining orders or protective orders or whatever it is called where you live on people, and that's a no, no contact. No, absolutely none. You know, and uh, I mean, people just moved away to, to where they just didn't have anything to do with anybody. But anyway, the two, no, um, no contact and the silent treatment, why are they considered different? I, I did do a video about this and I said that, it, yeah, it is different. The intention, the intent, the whatever is different reason because they're doing it to protect themselves when it's no contact. And the silent treatment, people complain about it being a punishment and or, you know, so on and so forth, something negative. Well, first of all, I want to say that, yeah, this does happen. People do, you know, there are people who do it. They like to say, some people like to say it's narcissist. Uh, I just say it could be just abusers. Okay, whatever type of abusive person it is, it doesn't have to be a narcissist. <laughs> but uh, yeah it could be I, I don't know but personally in all my years I've never known anybody personally that has been diagnosed with narcissistic personality disorder I've not known anybody to be diagnosed with histrionic personality disorder I have known someone I am fairly certain who was diagnosed with antisocial personality disorder and he was a stalker to me yeah and had spent most of his life in prison. And as far as borderline personality disorder, I do know people who have been diagnosed with borderline personality disorder. But narcissistic and histrionic, no. Okay. And I have not. Now, are there behaviors? Could there behaviors be narcissistic, histrionic, or any of the others? Or, or and, or, yeah. Behaviors, characteristics, traits. But does, does it mean they're diagnosed? Does it mean that that one is a narcissist and that one is a histrionic? No. <laughs> First of all, they have to be diagnosed by the appropriate person, like a psychiatrist or whatever it is where you live, that can make that kind of diagnosis. So, anyway. Okay. Sorry, I had the air conditioner on a little bit high. But as for, you know, someone who's doing the silent treatment, I don't think that it's, it's too many put out that it's always. And no, it's not always. Or shade of gray. It's not always. It's not never. I'm not a dichotomous thinker, a bipolar thinker, <laughs> polarized views, whatever you want to call it. No, it's not always black and white. Shades of gray. And uh, but some people think that it's the when somebody uses a punishment, that it's all about power and control, and it's something very negative. Since when? <laughs> no, really. Really. When is punishment... No, now. When, when is punishment only, always used as power control? Are we saying, are we telling people, there should be no punishment for whatever you do wrong? No consequences. There needs to be a punishment. Then they have the consequences. How do you sit? What is our judicial system? When somebody gets a punishment for what they've done wrong, they go to prison the rest of their lives in some sense, instances. No, 
where you really say there should be no punishment for your crime. And what about when it comes to something that's emotional? There should be no punishment for what somebody does wrong. And the reason I'm saying this is not always. Remember, I already said that. That these things do happen. People use it as power and control and all that. What about when it is someone who deserves it? <laughs> Seriously. When somebody deserves for that person just to do the silent treatment on them. Seriously. Can you think of, there's, can you really honestly say that it's never, some, it's not something anybody should ever do to use a silent treatment? What the heck is no contact? And yes, there's a different intention, but is it really? Is that, isn't that just a form of the silent treatment? I'm doing alternative ways of looking at things going on here. Yeah. Okay, now one of the, another one of the main reasons is because I have seen people give like little, you know, do videos. Let's just call them, let's just call it all, do videos. Um, and make it easy, just... You know, it could be written in it, it could have been this and this, but I'm just going to say, put them all together, make a composite, and say, videos, okay? And I'm sitting there, I'm listening to one, and I get to know that person over time. And then one then says this about the silent treatment, you know, that, let's say he had his, his ex-wife-to-be, ex wait, ex -wife -to -be. Uh, did the silent treatment on him when they were together. It was one reason he left her. You know, this kind of thing. Okay, he set it up. And uh, instead, as time went by and I got to know him, I realized, no, mister, you are the one who's rather narcissistic. Back when in my dating days, when I did the uh, online dating, I would meet a, meet a guy, and I'm telling you, once some of them, it's as though they had a script for many things, seriously. And the, many of the ones, I'm not saying all, many of the ones I met, as if they had a script. And, or they were looking for free counseling or something because they would sit down and they would badmouth their exes. Badmouth them, badmouth them. And in it, I could see, wait a minute, you're the one. <laughs> By what he was saying, you're the one with the problem. And some of it was projection. Now, I didn't know his ex, any of their exes. But just the things that they said, it led to that. And like this one I'm talking about, yeah. I mean, it stuck out like a sore thumb that, yeah, you're the narcissistic one. Maybe the, the X to B is also, but maybe have we, how many have actually considered that when somebody does the silent treatment on some part, their partner, their, you know, their, their husband, their wife, their significant other, whatever it is they live with, and I'm not talking about children, I'm talking about adults, that they do the silent treatment on them, and the other one's, you know, the one that's bad is the one saying that it's the silent treatment. When that person just doesn't want to speak to you, that person has been, that person who's doing the silent treatment, quote, doing air quotes here, is really fed up. It's had enough doesn't want to have any conversation with you because um, how many of us have heard all this stuff too? Because with some people, like a narcissistic person, so I'm going to put it all under that, just an abusive person. The more you say, the more they get from it, and the more that they, they, they just, they're just getting a thrill, you know, because they're going to use all this stuff against you, either right then or at some point. Your anger, what's, what's, what's ticking you off, what is, you know, what really is too annoying to you or just makes you angry, makes you furious. They are going to use that later on, possibly. Okay. So some people, instead of giving them anything, and some would call that the, um, what do they call it? I've, it's a term people have used for it. The, um, I don't remember now. <laughs> it was so many years ago that I actually said it myself. Um, but th they will do that. They will just say, uh-uh. I'm not giving them anything. Poker face, all of that. No words will come from me again until I can get myself out of this situation. We're before a judge. You know, 
they just shut down. Say, no, I'm not giving them, like I said, not giving them anything to go on. To go on and on and on and abuse more. How many people really think about that? <clears throat> okay, whew, had a little allergy attack there. But how many people think about that? That the person who's up there giving these, these little lectures, practically, uh, talking like they are so knowledgeable about things like the narcissistic, uh, the narcissist um, silent treatment. And this is all about, <laughs> this is what they're doing. This is why. This is how to combat it. This is what to say back. This is what to, you know. Have, how many of you, of you have looked at that one, watched them, got to know them? Wait a minute, you are the one who does, would probably be the one somebody wants to go no contact with. <laughs> uh, do the silent treatment until they can be total no contact out of the same house or out of the same universe, practically. Seriously. But they're good. Some of these are very good at spinning a story. You know, spinning it, wrapping people around their, their little finger. They're just, oh my goodness, unbelievable. And yeah, I do understand this one because I had a moment in time when I was young. I don't remember. I do not even remember how old I was, where I was, any of that. But I remember somebody just said something that really just, it was, yeah. And I just, my brain wouldn't talk. I mean, my brain just went, didn't say anything. It went blank. I guess you could say it in a way, not, that, not in that way, but. It was, no words would come out of my mouth and I wasn't even trying to make them. I wasn't sitting in my mind, you know, I wasn't in my mind saying, plotting and planning on, you know, what I should do next or why, why I'm doing what I do. I just walked away and didn't say anything. There was nothing going on in my brain about, oh, this is what, exactly what you should do or you shouldn't do that or you didn't, none of that. Yeah, it was in some, and I thought later on whenever I kind of, or when I not kind of, but I did, you know, moved on with it. Um, I thought, that must be what people talk about in the silent treatment. Now this, like I said, I was young. I'm not young. I'm not old. <laughs> I did a video about people who claim somebody my age is old. But uh, anyway, yeah, it just, it was that, I've never had that since then. I never had it before then. But I can see somebody had at the, you know, like, what you're doing and what you're saying too much and just walk away from it you know it could be just a, a moment some people have bad days no and now if they keep keep having bad days it's a different story to some people if they can't if they get help and it doesn't help yeah if 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 no i'm not here to tell anybody what to do or to say what should happen or shouldn't happen each situation is different it's not a one-size-fits-all in these kinds of things. Uh-uh, not to me. So, my opinions and opinions can be wrong, but I am a social and behavioral scientist, and I taught at college and university. And by the way... Okay, I had a phone call come through, so I had to stop there. Uh, so, where was I? But, yeah. Yeah, I've, I've experienced this... No, not, not saying a word. And, like I said, I wasn't plotting and planning and, under, you know, telling myself, this is why I'm doing this and this is what I should do. At all, but sometimes a person can really maybe it's just a form of being shocked, you know, um, stunned, silent, you know, <laughs> shocked, silent, something like that. Okay, what was that little dance? Somebody, <laughs> somebody's walking past me, and it was like he stopped to do something, and like, it would seem like a dance. Okay, I don't know. Okay, I stopped again because. He was walking by with the child in a stroller, so I don't put any other people's children in my videos. Okay. Anyway, but I mean, who who really ever stops to get back to this from the beginning? Who really stops and thinks that that person who's saying so much, or those people who are saying so much about the silent treatment, are really the abusers? Seriously. The ones that other people really are going that form of no, you know, that form of the silent treatment is to no contact, no, um, 
no words no words to be spoken okay because that's the only way they can go silent at the time and they, that's the only way they can go no contact is to just not say anything to not speak to not write to them to not text them to not answer their phone calls to not because I know some of these people whenever they they are wanting to continue to abuse and the person is not speaking to them does not want to they will do anything even like act like a fool or tell a funny joke just so they can get that you know they're, they're poking but in, like they're trying to pull it off as funny because they want to get a rise out of that person they want to get them to do something like put a smile on their face. Something to show that they still have some form of control over the person who's just gone no contact in that kind of way. You know, they still want to see that they can have some form of control over the other. You know, but who looks at it that way? How many people do look at it that way? Now, these are people that, these are people who can manipulate, oh, cry. like, you know, I've known a lot of people with narcissistic histrionic blended behaviors. They know how to do this smear campaign behind somebody's back. They know how to make themselves look like they're the victim, you know, how to, um, you know, they're the victim of somebody else. Oh, they're, they're doing a silent treatment on me when, okay, you, nobody wants to speak to you. I can understand why somebody would not want to say anything to you. It would become very silent around you. But you're going to use it. You're going to use what they say against them and to make yourself look like you're the angel. Yeah. Seen that. <laughs> yeah. It's been years, but... Well, has it been years? I'm going to have to think about that. <sighs> yeah. Okay, I wanted to... I came out today to do... And there was something that reminded me of this, and it was memes. I've, I've noticed... Uh, t today, for some reason, I saw two memes on the um, the silent treatment. I'm not going to say what they were what they were saying, but it, this is what it triggered in me. Um, and I'm like, mm, no, I'm not a one size fits all type person to say all of them. The ones who use the silent treatment, they are bad. And I'm not going to say that all punishment forms of punishment is bad either. I'm not. Think about it. Don't just read a meme. I'm not saying anybody does this. Some people, maybe they do. They read a meme and say, oh, that's it. That's totally, that's all that there is to it. And no no looking behind it. How many people do you actually hear that are saying, there could be more than one. This could be, you know, this could be, the silent treatment could be this. Or it could be that. How many ors do you ever hear? To me, that's a red flag. Flashing neon lights, like I used to call them. You know, the railroad crossing lights. Um, how many people do you know who say or you know, in anything anything you know anything that has to do with some okay you're going to get too close what's this kind of driving now really <laughs> there are people who get you know who don't say or they, they what they do is they say it's so like concrete it's so set in stone it's so only one thing can it be a narcissist is, is the, the only person who could do this is a narcissist. <laughs> you know, this kind of, there's only one way, and of course they are the ones who know that one way, to deal with this. Um, what's motivating them is this and this only. I, I'm going to tell you right now, we don't know what motivates anything. I said, yeah, one size does not fit all. It could be, then what's motivating them could be this, that, and the other. We don't even know. I remember studying this. How we really don't know exactly what motivates us. So we're going to know what's motivating somebody else? Really? 100%? We could be fooling ourselves even on what we're doing. And our real pur true purpose. I got, that's the other video I wanted to make. I came out to make two videos. And that's one of the other ones. I don't know if I'm going to get it done. I think I'm going to go home for a while. And uh, I can't do videos in front of my house anymore. Uh, since I got this new camera, it just doesn't work right all around it doesn't work right to do them like I used to so move on to something new anyway I think I'll wrap this one up it's probably very long I'll talk to you in another video